What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time stopping by, do me a real quick favor. See that little red subscribe button down below? Go ahead and push that for me. Show you support for the channel. For those of you coming back to check out what I have for you tonight that have been here before, welcome back my friends. I appreciate you showing up for another video. So, I was just sitting here watching YouTube. already posted a video today. And uh, man, I tell you, I just love doing this so much that I'm constantly thinking of video ideas. What haven't I done yet? What could I do? Looking at stuff that was still sitting here from last night's video. Uh, different things I've opened recently. Stuff I've been wearing. Stuff I've been testing. And I said, hey, let's do a 10, top 10 aquatic fragrances in my collection. We haven't really talked much about aquatics here and there in certain lists. Um, this is going to be a list of what's in my collection. There's a bunch out there that I still want, that I've had before, or that I just flat out don't have and never smelled before or haven't seen out in the wild. So I figured we could compile a list of what's in my collection. These are going to be not necessarily stuff that has aquatic notes in it, but at least has to give off an aquatic vibe. Stuff you're going to wear when it's super hot outside, taking on vacation with you. Uh, just something that just gives that summer vibe that is just a staple, something you gotta have when you got a tank top on, you swim shorts, sunscreens on, you know, hanging out with your friends casually. These are not necessarily gonna be professional scents. This is gonna be casual fragrances. So I do have some honorable mentions, uh, not a whole lot, so let's go ahead and kick this off. So first and foremost, when I think beach trip, going to Florida, uh, California coastline, any tropical islands, which I have not done any of that yet. I will eventually. The first brand that comes to mind is one that's very familiar. Cheapy brand. They have fantastic island wear. And their fragrances, they're not the strongest, but boy, you, it smells like a beach. We're talking Tommy Bahama fragrances. First, this is Tommy Bahama for men. Wonderful scent was my fragrance of the day two days ago. Man, man, man. The watermelon in this, it's just, it's a, this is a tropical fragrance. It's an amazing fragrance. The, the honorable mention for this is just the entire line. I don't have all of them, but I have a few of them. I have the main ones. I've had chances to buy Island Life. I've had chances to buy Maritime. Um, I will, as I come across them, get my hands on them as I feel it's necessary. St. Kitts, I see that a lot. But uh, this one... Fantastic to get your hands on. Tommy Bahama for men. Set sail Martinique. Tommy Bahama. Salty. Little marine. This is just awesome. Fresh out the shower. Spray and go. They don't last that long. These fragrances are all eau de cologne concentration. But boy, I'll tell you what. Oh yeah, that just, that, that smells like sitting at the tiki bar to me. These are awesome fragrances, guys. You can have them at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Burlington, all these different rack stores. 20 bucks for these 100 ml bottles. Set sale Martinique. Then right here, the king of all Tommy Bahama fragrances. I've had this bottle for a while. I see the newer style ones all the time. I have smelled it because I have friends. My uncle has this bottle as well. They don't smell quite the same, so I'm worried about running out of this. But set sail St. Bart's. This is a more vintage formulation. You see the dent in that bottle. It doesn't say St. Bart's. It just says Tommy Bahama. Cap's a little bit different. My God, a margarita in a bottle. That's what this is. This is sitting by the Tiki Bar. This is drinking frozen fruity alcoholic beverages. This is beach. This is vacation. This is must have. One of my favorite aquatics. Reason is down here on honorable mentions because there are a lot better quality fragrances than this, but this is unique in its own right. Must have. St. Bart's. Slide these bad boys back just a little bit. Okay, next. It kind of goes without saying. When, when you want a cheapy aquatic that's not necessarily a king in performance, they're very synthetic, but you just smell nice when you wear them, that's going to be the entire Nautica line. I do have several... Nautica fragrances. I have a few that are discontinued that you can't find anymore, but we're not going to do the whole line. We're going to do the two most readily available, two of the 
favorites in the community. We're going to start off with Nautica Voyage. Crisp green apple, super aquatic, solid performer. This is six hours, arm's length for about an hour in projection. This thing's amazing. This is a superstar in, in the community, and this just screams summertime. It's summer in a bottle. You can get them all over the place, anywhere from 12 to $16, everywhere online, in-store. This is an awesome fragrance, guys. Man, it's good stuff. Atomizers aren't anything special on these. They little cheesy little atomizers. They're cheap, but they smell great. You will smell awesome wearing nautical fragrances. Nautical Voyage, honorable mention. Nautical Voyage N83, another one. Minty quality, very aquatic, little citrusy. Uh, this is one that's out in the rack stores right now. If you haven't seen it out in the wild too often, now's your chance to get it. It is readily available online, but this one, this one stands on its own apart from Nautica Voyage. Uh, I have Voyage Sport. I have Voyage Heritage. I mean, I have a bunch of them. These are my two favorites in the line. This is another must-have, in my opinion, Summer Aquatic. Another fantastic honorable mention. So, sorry I ran through that kind of quickly. I want to jump into this top 10. I know sometimes y'all don't like these 20-plus minute videos, so we're going to try to keep it under that a little bit this time. So, there's my honorable mentions. Tommy Bahama Fragrances. Nautica, Nautica Voyage specifically line fragrances. So, starting off this list, this is one that I haven't really seen out in the wild that much lately. Um, I do tend to get compliments when I wear it to work. I don't wear it that often because I just have so many amazing fragrances to wear. But this one's going to be Dunhill Desire Blue. This one's got a very aquatic a pomegranate smell to it. It's very but juicy. It's just a fantastic scent. Very, very good scent. Got that cool little pop to it like CH Men Privé. The bottle, I mean that translucent, translucent blue, this is just a beautiful shaped bottle. This is a 50 milliliter bottle. The 100 milliliter is about this tall. I think this bottle looks cooler being this small. You can have these. I think I got this for around $20-ish, $15 two years ago. You can still find them out in the wild. They're readily available online. You can probably find them clearance on FragranceNet. I haven't looked at it in a while very cheap but at number 10 Dunhill Desire Blue this is another one that's just unique smell guys I have I, I mean there's probably other things out there that smell like it I personally have not smelled anything else that smells like this we're gonna go ahead and give it a little spray yeah that's that's an interesting smell for sure uh, unique in my collection anyway so number 10 Dunhill Desire Blue number nine not full of aquatic notes, undoubtedly an aquatic vibe. It's a heavy citrus white floral. I have referenced it before in a list, but we haven't really talked about it yet on the channel. And this is John Barbados Artisan. I do have others from the line. I have Artisan Blue. I have Artisan Pure. I have Dark Revel. Those don't fit into this. Artisan Blue, very spring, very green. Artisan Pure, probably could kind of go in this. I find that's a more herbal scent, citrusy and herbal, not really aquatic. Yes, this is citrus white floral, but this gives off a very aquatic vibe. I mean, look at it. That just looks like summer with this wicker style to this bottle. John Barbados, decent atomizers. Put out nice and wide and God, just a fantastic scent. This is bordering niche quality with these John Barbados fragrances. The scent quality on these are amazing. You can always have them cheap after six months, nine months, a year after they come out. They're out on the rack stores. I mean, prime example, last summer, Artisan Pure, all the popularity in the fragrance community. Beginning of this summer, I found it for $36.99 in a Marshalls for the gift set with a sample of the original John Barbados and the Travel Atomizer for Artisan Pure. Sometimes if you wait, it pays. But at the number nine spot, Artisan, John Barbados, the original in the line, not a flanker. Number eight, it's been in a lot of lists. It had to make it in this one. This is a very aquatic fragrance. Shower gel, 
They're readily available out in the wild right now for that $20 range for a 4.2 ounce, 125 milliliter bottle. I've done a first impressions on it. I've done a full review on it, and it's been in more than one list. It's been in a few other videos as a reference. Davidoff Cool Water Wave. This is a great fragrance. Cheapy, great cheapy. Not a projection monster, solid longevity. Five to six hour range, very creamy sandalwood in the dry down, but this is shower gel, soapy aquatic, has a similar vibe to Invictus Aqua, but it definitely stands on its own. It's not that close. Like it doesn't smell like Invictus Aqua. There's other fragrances that smell way more like it than this one. This one stands on its own. This is a great fragrance, guys. Has that classic cool water ridges to it. Cheapo cap, if you've watched, go figure. I've had a video where this thing fell and hit it and all that now it's not going to do it. I can sit here and hold it for some reason. But fantastic fragrance, great for the summer. This screams summer. Get your hands on this one. It's going to last you more than one summer unless this is the only thing you buy and you spray heavy because I'll tell you what, you can spray this bad boy heavy. And if you know anything about me, I definitely spray heavy. It's my thing. It's what I do. I probably spray more than you. Maybe not some of you, but most of you. So Davidoff Cool Water Wave, fantastic fragrance to get your hands on. Very aquatic, very fresh. So that's 1098, let's move on to number seven. Number seven, I always say this, I don't know if you guys actually laugh when I pull out a one ounce bottle, but don't laugh. I do, like I, like I said many times, I shop at the rack store. So I see a lot of 50 mLs, a lot of one ounce bottles. That's what hits the rack stores. The 100 mL bottles, 120, 125s, that's what most people buy at department stores. So these other ones, they got to get sold somewhere. They get sold off to these wholesale rack store type places. So this is one summer favorite. I'm sure a lot of you are going to agree with me. Very aquatic, very polo blue. And I'll go out on a limb and say it's better than polo blue. Hold off before you get upset because I love polo blue. I haven't had it in many years because I've had three bottles of this since. Eternity Aqua, Calvin Klein. Smells very, very similar to Polo Blue. Polo Blue's been reformulated so many times that it's so weak now that they have all these other versions of it. Six hours easy. Seven hours if you spray your clothes. For a citrus aquatic summertime melony fragrance like this, that is awesome. This is readily available at the rack stores. Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, you can always find this. I see it all the time. I always see a 50 ml bottle. Sometimes I see a 100 ml. I see these 30 mLs all the time. This is the second 30 ml bottle I've had and I've had a 50 ml bottle. My God, nothing special about it. It's different from the, the bigger bottles. The one ounce has a standard atomizer. Man, not, nothing special about the mist on it, but that smell, it's a more mature version of Polo Blue in a sense. It's got a more mature quality to it. Those of you that grew up on Polo Blue, maybe it's time to move on to Eternity Aqua. It's for the more mature gentlemen. It's versatile for any age, but you, if you smell them side by side, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Eternity Aqua, Calvin Klein. Number six. One of the highest selling fragrances in the last 10 years. Everybody wears it. A lot of you probably wear it. It's another one ounce bottle. It's Versace Mano Fresh. Staple, must have. Starfruit at its finest. Oh man, starfruit, it's got a little fresh spicy quality to it. Solid longevity. For me, I get five to six hours. Some people may only get three or four. Some people may get seven or eight. I get five to six. Yes, you're gonna smell like a lot of people, but there's a reason you're gonna smell like a lot of people. This is a great fragrance. This is a summer staple. This is a fantastic aquatic office scent. It just, it, the bottle design adds its uniqueness. This is great, guys. I've never spoken to or had someone smell this that did not think this was a great smell. This is a fantastic fragrance, guys. It had to be in a list like this. Why is it so low down on the list? Because these other ones are better. 
and this one's great. So this must be a great list. Stay tuned. Don't skip ahead. Watch it all the way through. So moving on, Versace Mano Fresh, there's our top five. Not bad. You're probably wondering where some of your favorites are. Maybe they're in this top five. Let's get to it. So Stephen from Red Lessons. My second video, which I was still kind of finding my little niche, my little niche, you know. This was highly ranked in it. He did a review not that long ago on it. It's not his favorite. He commented he does find himself wearing it a little bit more. Steven, if you're watching this video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I love this. This is a fantastic fragrance. They're out in the rack stores. It's still fetching a pretty penny. They're still $70. But they're limited releases with, with this brand, as you know. JPG, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Lamal in the Navy. Vanilla Mint, Aquatic Notes, Water Notes and Sea Notes. This is... Man, this is the summer fragrance from this line. I haven't smelled all of them, but I'll tell you what. If there's another summer flanker to Lamal that's better than this, please tell me in the comments because I'd love to smell it because this one's great. I get fantastic performance out of this. I get seven hours, believe it or not. I get very, very good projection for a little over an arm's length for the first hour and a half. Then I get about a foot or so nice scent bubble going to about the four, four and a half hour mark, then it kind of sits really close to the skin after that. Not real, real close, but close enough to where you gotta get within my personal space to smell it. I smell me, you may not after the five hour mark. But this one's amazing. Like I said, please, if there's a more, a better summer flanker to Lamal, please let me know in the comments. If it's not outrageous from these crazy resellers that are all about a dollar, I might wanna get my hands on it. So at the number five spot, Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal in the Navy. The best aquatic vanilla mint fragrance I've ever smelled. I know there's others out there. I just haven't smelled them. This is the man to me. Not just because the bottle's a man. You, you get it. So, moving on. Anyways. Next. It's been in a few lists. I have an individual review on this. This is a game day fragrance. This is a summer in a bottle. This is a superstar in performance for summer. It's very aquatic. It's very marine. You already know where I'm going with this, especially when I say it's got a salty quality to it. Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. And that's it. I could, <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. I could literally do that with it. Nine hours, easy, which is unbelievable for an aquatic fragrance heavy projection six foot push for an hour and a half three foot push for another hour and a half great scent bubble ambroxan bomb but who cares this is the most unique of the ambroxan bombs because of the marine twist they put on it to me i know they're starting to have more come out since this came out in 17 but for a solid year this was pretty much the only thing that smelled like this they're hitting discounters. As I discussed in my top 10 most complimented list, they're out there right now, the gift sets, $44 on clearance, 100 ml and a 50 ml. It's a great price, pick it up. I keep seeing the same ones sitting in the clearance section at one of the Marshalls I frequent. I'm getting brave, I'm just letting it sit there because they'll continue to discount it. When it hits 30, if it's still sitting there, I'm all over it because this is backup bottle worthy. If you smelled it before, you know what I'm talking about. Bulgari Aqua Atlantique at the number four spot. Mm. Sorry about that. Whew, top three. Okay, so you might expect one or two of them. You might not expect any of them. If you watch my other videos, you're definitely expecting one. So moving on, let's go with number three. This should be on everybody's summer list. This should be on everybody's citrus list. This should be on everybody's aquatic list. This should be on everybody's most complimented list. This should be on every list that doesn't involve the winter, cold weather. Any summer list, spring list, this deserves to be on your list. 
Your uncle smelled like it for years, probably still does. Your dad, your brother, for some of you ladies watching, your ex-boyfriend, your husband, your father, your brother, your son probably likes it. It's the number one selling fragrance of all time. I know we call Aventus the king, but this is the real king because the sales numbers don't lie. Giorgio Armani, Aqua Di Gio. It's that good, guys. Highest selling fragrance of all time. I've tried to look up the sales numbers. It's very hard to find, but I know this is the highest selling fragrance of all time. This is just what it is. Atomizer is absolutely amazing. It's been reformulated over the years. It doesn't have the performance it once had. There's a remedy for that. It's called Aqua Di Gio Profumo. It's a more mature version of this. It's more versatile. But this is spring and summer in a bottle right here. There's no denying. It's not redundant to own this in Profumo. I still don't understand why they discontinued a Senza because it was just a stronger version of this. It was the Eau de Parfum concentration. And resellers are at fetching a pretty penny for that. I slept on it because a year ago I could have got a 4.2 ounce bottle for like 70 bucks several times. I kept sleeping and kept sleeping and now they're $200. Not going to pay that, guys. I'll be just fine with this. Keep it with me and refresh when I want to wear this. But this is as staple in any sort of summer list as it gets. This is a fantastic citrus aquatic signature type scent that you can wear in the winter if you really want to. I have a childhood best friend. This is what he wears. This and Dolce and Gabbana light blue. That's two summer fragrances. He wears them year round. They're wonderful. I get it. Do I want to smell like this in the, sun, in the winter? No. But in the spring and summer and early fall? Absolutely. Number three, Aqua Di Gio, the original. Number two. So, this is all the hype. This is hard to find. I have a, a subscriber that I talk to on a regular basis. Did a video about him the other day. Great guy. What's up, my friend? You know exactly who you are. Ask me today about this fragrance. Because I work at Mercedes. And yeah, we do have it. Two ounce bottle and a gift set with shower gel. Retail 76 on it. I still haven't seen it restocked since I got it on FragranceNet months ago. It's hard to find. Fragrancebuy.ca, out of stock. Because that was the only place that had it for a while. So all of you bought, it, bought them up. If you can get your hands on this, there is zero reason to spend the money on Dior Homme Cologne. I've smelled it. I've smelled it more than once. It's great. Guess what? Save yourself the money. And if you can find it, get your hands on Mercedes-Benz Cologne. This is no shameless plug because I work for this brand. This fragrance is that good. This is Dior Homme Cologne in a Mercedes-Benz bottle. Absolutely. This is ice cold lemonade. Man, man, man. Mm, with amazing performance. This is aquatic. This is super citrus. This is summer in a bottle. This is everything you want in a Dior Homme Cologne. Cologne, Cologne. Sorry, little tongue twister. Because this is the king of the Dior Homme Colognes. I was commenting with Carlos from Brooklyn Fragrance Lover earlier, and he was saying he hasn't he hasn't smelled in the Mercedes colognes. But, like I told him, intense, I have that one. It smells like Fahrenheit, a little less petroleum note. This, the Arum Cologne. I guess in a sense, they're a clone house. They're a damn good one, though. If you can find this one, this is one of the hardest fragrances to find in the fragrance community. This is a superstar. I said it in the last, second to last video it was in. When I had a chance and I bought it, I regret not buying two bottles. This is amazing. You can't find this one. That's okay. Because I have an alternative for you that's more readily available. It's not as good. I'm doing some testing on it currently. The performance isn't much less. The projection's a little bit less. I get six hours with Mercedes-Benz Cologne. Currently, I'm getting about five hours with this. I just did 
a trash or treasure on it. Jimmy Choo, Man Ice. It's close, guys. I know some of you get terrible performance on it. You've already told me. My oily skin, I'm getting decent with it. This is more readily available. This is easier to get your hands on. I highly, highly suggest getting your hands on this if you can't get that. Number two, Mercedes-Benz Cologne, or it's more readily available alternative, Jimmy Choo Man Ice. Now, I know I clap a lot, but I get excited with some of these, especially when it comes to this line. Any of my regular viewers, you know what this is. You're bound to know what this is. It's not Invictus, but it's the aquatic version. We're talking Invictus Aqua, Paco Rabanne. I've done an individual review. It's made it in the top of several lists. This is a fantastic fragrance, guys. This is seven hours. This is a compliment magnet. Women love it. You can get away with wearing this as your date night fragrance in the summer. On vacation, you can take this all over in hot weather. This is versatile. It's aquatic. It's a little slight powdery. It's a little citrusy. Heavy on the ambroxan because of the ambergris and the amberwood. It's got solid performance. You get a good scent bubble. It's not a screamer, but people will smell you. This is a superstar, guys. Let's say you're on more of a budget than this. You can't spend from anywhere from $50 to $100 to get this. I hear you. TLTG cares. As a matter of fact, hashtag TLTG cares. TLTG loves the kids. Do you know what I mean? Teenagers, high schoolers, early college, you're on a budget, you can't spend a lot of money. You've smelled this, it's on your list, you want it. Let me give you some alternatives. Mont Blanc Legend Spirit. This could have been number one. I wear this more than I wear Invictus Aqua because I'm a little more scarce on the sprays with that because I don't want to just keep buying it and buying it and buying it. This is a little more affordable. Low 30s range online. Fragrance net with the coupon code. Smells very close, more effervescent. Mm. Fantastic sprayer. I'm getting low on this bottle. I need to get 100 ml real soon. I would get a 200 ml. Part of me really wants to, but for any of you that have seen the 200 ml of this bottle, it looks stupid. I can't be the only one. Tell me in the comments if you agree. The Legend 200 ml bottles look stupid to me, but the 100 mls look cool. Anyways, Legend Spirit, more affordable. That's still too expensive? Seriously? You know what? I got you covered. That's all right. I get it. Super low budget. You can't spend more than $15. You're in that range. Hey, I get it. I get it. And I got you. They're out. They're readily available. Scent Nation was talking about it the other day. He found a little, I think it's a 12 milliliter for like $4 or something like that. I got a 30 milliliter I'm sending out to that same subscriber I was just talking about earlier on Monday. Hollister Wave 2. I know, super cheap. A little more synthetic than the other two. Smells 90% of this. Solid performance, four and a half, five hours on my skin. You might get four hours, but you know what? For $15 or less, it's worth it. Get your hands on it, guys. Even if you can afford to buy all of these in one shot, Still get your hands on this. This is a heavy sprayer. This is a fantastic fragrance. It will get you some compliments. Very aquatic, very citrusy, very summery, very watery. So, what'd you think? Was it a good list? I thought it was. I enjoy the hell out of all these. So, as always guys, do me that quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Um, man, I just love doing these videos. I love doing these lists. I love all the feedback I get from you guys. I appreciate all the new subscribers to the channel. All of you that have been around since day one, I appreciate you just as much, if not more. We're growing, guys. I mean, just tonight, when I walked through the door after I got off of work, I was at 112 subscribers. As I started recording this video, I was at 122. I may have gained one or two more. I don't know, but I gained 10 subscribers just since I got home from work. I appreciate that. Thank each and every one of you. Um, this is another one of those lists, guys. This is just some favorites of mine. There's others that I have that could have made this. I didn't want to have 
10 honorable mentions and a top 15 list or a top 20. I got a lot that could have made it on here. I had to whittle it down. These are my favorites. So I appreciate the support. Stay tuned for more content coming soon. And I'm absolutely willing to bet that if you get your hands on some of these, you spray these now, you're most likely going to thank me later. Y'all have a good night, fellas and ladies.